Hi, I'm Dr. Ted Rogers. This is History by the Plate. We've been looking at the mother sauces of French cuisine, and the first three caused quite a roux. Today we're leaving the roux-based sauces behind us and moving on to what most of us remember as the first sauce we ever tasted, tomato sauce. Mesoamericans have been using tomato sauces for several thousands of years before Columbus, but the first written record of tomato sauce in Europe came from Spain in 1692. This sauce resembled what we know as pico de gallo, and the Spanish used it only on broiled meats. It would take Europeans over 300 years to use tomato sauces on anything but meats. So what was the first country to marry tomato sauce with pasta? Italy? Nope! It was actually the French in 1807 who first used their culinary noodles to unite pasta with tomatoes. However, the Italians perfected it just a few years later when Chef Cavalcanti in Naples published a recipe for vermicelli baked in tomato sauce. Not until 1847 was a recipe for macaroni with tomato sauce first published in America. Still, it was not until the 1920s that tomato sauce with pasta became popular in America. In 1924, Hector Buiardi, an Italian immigrant, opened a restaurant in Cleveland. His sauce became so popular he began selling it in jars and, in 1928, set up full-time production in a plant in Pennsylvania where enough mushrooms and tomatoes could be grown to reduce costs. Due to their low cost, Chef Boyardee's sauces with pasta became a popular staple during the Great Depression. So yes, Chef Boyardee popularized spaghetti with tomato sauce in the United States. I hope this has been informative and fun. More fun history facts, recipes, and travel tips are on our website, www.historybytheplate.com. Happy cooking!